This uh, site is in southwest Minnesota. It's our Syngenta Growmore location here in Morgan, Minnesota. We try and highlight our uh, herbicide technologies to help farmers grow more corn and soybeans. A grower really needs to know what active ingredients are in the product that they're using uh, to target specific weeds. In this trial, we are looking at individual components of Acuron and Acuron Flexi. When we talk about knowing what's in your herbicide, it's important to know what groups these active ingredients are in. With Acuron, we have four different active ingredients, three different modes of action. So Bicycle Pyrone is one of the components in Acuron and Acuron Flexi. The exciting thing about Bicycle Pyrone is it adds a lot to the chemistry that we already have in our portfolio. Bicycle Pyrone has very good control both pre and post of uh, weeds like giant ragweed, those large seeded broadleafs that can really be a challenge for growers to control. When we compare that to a product like Stinger, that has a very narrow window of control. In, it, in this plot, it's really not controlling anything that's here. The plot we're looking at right now is Stinger alone, and this is at the five ounce rate, and that would be the equivalent rate that would be in two and a half quarts of Resicor. And you can see with the water hemp and pigweed, it had virtually no control, even at that five ounce rate in this plot. The treatment we're looking at right now is Acuron followed by Acuron. It's got a foundation rate of Acuron. In this plot, it's 1.5 quarts, followed 30 days by another 1.5 quarts. This has four different active ingredients, three different modes of action pre and post we get really good season-long control with Acuron followed by Acuron.